Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. It's not exactly like the first one we found, but I like it. These quarks are so bad at living. They said, no, did you see me? Why are you running? Why are you running? Come back. The wetlands are so loud. Look at how glowy my pants are. Hello, frog. Dibs. Nothing to worry about, little buddy. Just sneaking up on you a little bit. Don't mind me. You and I are going to be long-term friends. This water is so loud. No, 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 no. Just stand still a little bit longer. I'm so close. There you go. There you go. Just for like 10 more seconds. Just don't move. Get mounted. How do you do this? L to suit. It's fine. It's fine. We're friends. There we go. We're friends. E-Z. Okay. Go in there. No, you're good. You're good. You're good, buddy. You and me. Friends for life now. Get on over to this stable. Let's get you registered, I think it is. And you're going to take me over to that shrine that I came over here for. Good horse. Good horse. No, no, no. You're fine. You're fine. Good boy or girl. I don't know. I got a little too close to the rock. My bad. Look at how glowy my pants are. We're going to be the best of friends. I think we need to go up this way. Turn right. There you go. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. There's the shrine. And right there's the stable. Do 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 do. Hello, Wetland Stable. I am back with my new horse. Oh, ZL. You're a night owl, I see. Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an inn. Seems you're not a member yet. Our stable uses the Stable Association's membership system. So you'll need to register if you want to use it. May I ask for your name? Link. All right, Mr. Link. There. How I'm Link. How am I not registered? You're all signed up. Now, would you like me to tell you about the stable system? Hit me. Allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us and then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. There's a limit to how many horses you can board, but you're able to swap them in and out as you please. Once again, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. If you want to lodge with us, visit the counter inside. How can I help you? Register. Understood. So you want to register? Huh? According to our books, you entrusted a horse to us once before. I'll just go ahead and register any horse that had your name on it. Come talk to me later if you want to take him out. I already had horses from the first game. Now then, once again, you want to register this horse here? Strength, bad. Bond, 10. Speed and stamina, good though. Wild temperament. Register this bad boy. Normally, when you register a horse, we charge 20 rupees, but we got a special promotion going on right now, so you can register your first for free. I'll move on to the registration process. Please enter a name for your horse. Um, this horse is now officially female, I've decided. Labrys. Are you sure you want to name it Labrys? I do. Hmm. Name registered? Do you want to take it with you or board it? I'm taking it. I have places to go. That concludes the registration process. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle it'll come running. Yep, yep, yep. But your horse isn't magic. It can't it can't hear you if you're too far away. Words. Keep that in mind. Wait, what am I thinking? I completely forgot to explain how pony points work. What? Horses from Breath of the Wild carry over, which is wild. That is very weird. Your horses carry over. I considered mentioning it, but I knew you'd either think it was neat or hated it that your horses carried over without the game telling you that up front. I wish the game would have let me chosen if I wanted to carry my horses over, because I'd rather start fresh, to be honest. But I mean, it's neat that you have the option. Oh. That's right. It's a reward system you can use at stables. In short, every time you use a service, you get points. No matter what stable you go to, you can get points for lodging there, registering a horse, stuff like that. 
Not only is it your first visit to Wetland Stable, but you've also registered a horse. So here you get two pony points. What a weird system. Oh. Save up points to earn a wagon load of wonderful rewards for you and your horse companions. Oh. You can trade your pony points for prizes at the ledger counter. Check out the ledger for prize details, member rules, and other info. Oh. Come back again anytime. Okay, well, I mean, we gotta, we gotta look at that real quick. Read. This book contains useful member information, yada yada, points and rewards. You need one point to receive the towing harness. Remember, you can also check your pony points card to see how many out of, wait. The towing harness, what does that do for me? Stable Association has a point system to reward members every time they use it, staying it in, registering horses, okay. Receive reward? Ah, uh, yes, I'll be right with you. Oh. You'd like to get your pony points reward right? Save up just one more point. You'll receive a towing harness. Very useful item. You can use it to hook up your horse to various things. Oh, I can make like an actual wagon. Yep. That would, uh, that would be pretty neat. All right, Labrys. Huh. Let's go, girl. Huh. Take off this pin. We'll have Labrys get us over to this shrine, and then we're gonna go straight north. See if we get any shrines on the way, but more importantly, see uh, see if we can find this other stable to maybe do the whatchamacallit we need to do. Some more wild horsies over there. There's that shrine. What is that? That's the noise of the reins being flicked. Okay, because we have reins now. Good Labrys. Good girl. Away we go. What the heck is going on over there? Doesn't matter to me. Go, Labrys! Bad girl. I get it, it's a little rocky, but come on, there is water coming up. So you, you chill back there, Labrys. I'll hoof it to the shrine and then come back for you. Get it? Hoof it, haha. -ha. I'm funny, please laugh. I love gliding. Oh, this water isn't even deep. <laughs> I thought it was much deeper than it appeared. Lucifer, welcome to stream. How do you like the game so far? It's pretty good. Pretty good game. Fork over my fast travel point, and more importantly, my light orb. Hacker voice, I'm in, yet again. I would like to petition for all shrines to just be the like no no equipment shrines. That is when this game is at its most fun, I have decided. Mm, nope, we're back to Portal 2 puzzles. Deep Force. Okay. We got some uh some deep water. That thing is floating on the surface very strangely. Oh. Okay. Where did it go? Uh. Oh, there it is. It fell behind me. Okay, insanely buoyant. Like, ridiculously so. That was easy. This actually seems like a bit of a neat puzzle. More so than the last couple of portal puzzles we got. Dude, I just want more stamina. I didn't need to bring that ball with me, did I? I hope there's another one provided for me up ahead. Way too early. Ah, also really bad. Well, you know. Not a good job by me, honestly. You are so 
annoying to flurry rush. Why am I having so much trouble with this one enemy? Come on. Come at me. Bad. Hold up. It's a, it's an actual spring. Okay, I get it. What the heck? How did your thing not break with how many times I hit it with that really strong Lizifos arm? Is this also super buoyant? I mean, is this... Do I not just do the same thing here? Oh no, it's not super buoyant. So I guess I was supposed to bring the ball all the way over here. That's a little annoying. Glad you're enjoying it. I love it so far. It's a pretty fun game. It's definitely, like, got plenty of improvements over Breath of the Wild, but it is definitely still, like, the same setup as Breath of the Wild. So, you know. There is a chest down there. Breath of the Wild is not, like, one of my favorite games ever, so I didn't expect this game to be wildly different from Breath of the Wild, but I'm also, like, you know. As a result, just, it's better Breath of the Wild, but it's still Breath of the Wild, you know what I mean? So, like, I'm having a good time. I enjoyed Breath of the Wild, but I didn't, like, love Breath of the Wild, and so I'm not really loving this game either, but I am having a good time with it. Which, you know, not, not every game has to be a 10 out of 10. But it does, as I've mentioned plenty of times, it does make me worried for the future of Zelda games that it's just going to be more Breath of the Wild instead of the 3D dungeon crawl Zeldas that I love. Come here. I don't know why that board is there. Do I need it in here for something? Oh, now they give me another ball. Huh. What am I trying to do here? I'm trying to hit that? I'm trying to hit the middle one, actually, I think. Come here. What's your favorite game? My favorite game is Tales of Zillia on the PlayStation 3. Okay, yeah, I see what to do here. I think this is gonna work. Sure is. Gamer moment. Hello. That was a pretty good puzzle. I like that one. I'm just at one right now, right? Yep. Three more to go for more stamina. Goodbye. Maybe the board bounced well from a different angle. Oh, if I had it vertical instead of horizontal? It might have. That's a fair point. I have no idea. It just seems so much simpler to bring the ball. Well, let's go get Labrys and then go straight north. I don't want to go up to this phenomena, but I want to see if we just get in this general area, if I spot the, uh... The stable. Where this, uh, this band might be. Because I really want to unlock the fairy and see about potentially upgrading clothes. Mostly because I just don't even remember how upgrading clothes even freaking works in this game. Where's Labrys? Is she over? Yeah, she's right over here. If we just get over this bit of water, I can probably whistle to get her to come to me. Actually, this water is not deep. She might even just come here. There she is. 
Hi, Labrys. Come here, girl. Look out for the the falling rocks. Hello. Ah, oh, finally, a game where I can mount Labrys, what I've always wanted, Chad. Ever since I played Persona 4 Arena. Why would you run this way and get yourself stuck? Hi, don't mind me. I'm just passing by. There is nothing to see here. Labrys does not turn on a dime. Labrys, come on. What are you doing? There we go. Seeing those birds on the side of a beach like that as I'm running by really reminds me of Xenoblade Chronicles 1. Good girl. Good girl. You know, getting that uh, harness thing to set up, like, making it where Labrys can pull a wagon or something could be pretty neat. Yeah. I do want that. Yeah. Good old-fashioned yeah. horsepower. Yeah. There's that dang old castle in the distance. Someone fighting over there? You stay here, Labrys. Gonna help a brother out. Stop, loser. Did you not even realize? Somehow your thing blocked from behind, which is pretty wild. Bad. Yeah, my bad. Shouldn't have done that like that. Why do I have a wooden stick? Nope. Oh, I was supposed to jump to the side, not backwards. Get up. Nice. Nope. Mine now. See you later, sucker. Alright. That could have gone way better, but it also could have gone even worse. Where did my boomerang over here go? My trusty boomerang did not come back. Sokka would be disappointed. I don't see it anywhere. Well. Lost for all time now. Hi there. Oh. Hello there, are you a traveler too? My name is Savory, I'm a wandering chef. I wander from place to place searching caves for uniquely delicious ingredients. As we both seem to be like-minded explorers, you're welcome to use my cooking pot whenever you like. Oh, and I bet the things I've learned in my cave searches could come in handy on your journey, mind if I share? Caves are chock full of valuable ores and ingredients, they're like nature's treasure chests. If you're not savvy to the joys of a good cave, you're not traveling to the fullest. Mm. For instance, uh, there's an opening in the ground north of here that leads to a cave. If you break one of the ore deposits in there with a hammer, you can get ore, obviously, but more than that. There's flint for starting fires, rock salt for seasoning your cooking, and luminous stones and gems to sell for high prices. Ah. So if you find an ore deposit in a cave, make sure to break it. I hope our paths cross again somewhere. So long and safe travels. Yeah, thanks, Captain Friggin' Obvious. Of course that's how that would work. I really should, like, cook some stuff, but, like, cooking is so boring in this game to me. I don't like to stand at a pot, go through my myriad materials in my chest, or in my inventory, and then have to press A repeatedly to hold it, and then just throw it all. I don't know, it's just, like, cooking in this game is really boring to me. Yo, Shroom, what's up? Yeah, when I said sup, loser, I was talking to you, Shroom. Absolutely. I could sense that you had opened my Twitch channel. There's a Goron chill in there. Be good, Labrys. Be good. Does this, uh, does this sign say where the stable is by any chance? Hyrule Ridge, Zora's Domain. Alright, no, that doesn't help me at all. Well, we're just gonna go north towards Elden. Oh, wait, that's probably it right there. That's a uh, smoke signal. You suck and no one- Ah, oh, dang it, no, wait, Labrys, you weren't supposed to get scared and stop. You suck and no one likes you, I wanted to say as I ran by a lot faster than this. Oh, there's a Hinox right there. That's nice. Just stay away from that. 